hi good day good night good evening depending on what time you happen to be watching this welcome to another episode of house of stars i am a girl star and today i am doing reading on a celebrity that um some of you guys know uh she played the childhood role of uh rudy huxtable on the bill cosby show so i'll be reading on keisha knight pulliam i hope i'm saying her last name right um it looks like William, but so I'll say William. Uh, well, I'm doing a reading at on her. Um, if some of you guys may know, or if you're familiar with her, she's going through um, a divorce drama right now uh, with her current husband, or once was her husband, and a part of the drama that's happening there um, is that he's requesting to have a paternity test because he's under the impression that the child that they she's pregnant with may not be his. So, um, I wasn't really familiar with stories. I did do a little bit of research on the backstory of exactly what it is, but that's really what I know so far. Um, I just, I think I went to E! online and pretty much just see the whole story and stuff like that. And also I went to, crap, I don't know the other site, but I'll link it below where they were telling the story. Um, but o overall, I just wanted to know the backstory of what was going on. So that way I, you know, it kind of... I get to the point exactly what I do pick up with the situation. Um, again, if you guys haven't already, make sure you go watch my spiritual items must have video, which you can actually find. The link is in the description box. Uh, for the previous video I did, I'm actually going to do another video um, that will be coming up soon where I will teach you how to prepare a candle. Um, that was something else that people have been asking me how to do and stuff like that. So I was thinking, you know, it would be cool to just kind of show everyone how I do it and whatever the case may be. So let me just jump into it. Excuse me if you see me wiping my nose and stuff like that. I have allergies. Yeah, I know. Um, so, uh, yeah, let me just get right into it. So I have Keisha Knight Pulliam. She's born April 9th, 1979 which means she's born under the sun sign of Aries and she's born in Newark, New Jersey. So let me just tap into her energy. Okay. All right. So what I do see from uh, Keisha is that I do see overall when it comes to her personality, she's a person that carries a lot of hurt. And it's funny because it's really sad that, you know, a lot of people, especially um, that are in the industry and started out at a very young age in the industry, always carry this sense of like scarring to them is what I notice. You know what I mean? But I feel like, she, and when I say scarring, I don't say this in a, in a very in-depth way. I'm not going into details exactly what I feel when it comes to what she's scarred about. But there's just a sense of sadness that's within her in a layer of her personality. It's like she's never really 100% happy. I feel she's definitely a person, because she is an Aries, she's very much of a leader. So she's definitely a person that she knows what she wants and what she wants, she goes after it. She's not really a person I feel like she has a whole lot of friends i feel like she's more of a person that stays really secluded and to herself like even though she has people around her it's like it's very tight-knit circle that she does keep around her um just because she's not a person that really likes to get out and really um be around people that she doesn't really know or really feel comfortable with what i do see about her overall i feel like she's a very intelligent person i actually do feel like she wants to go branch out on some business ventures um, that will actually be very successful for her. I see um, one woman, but I also see a woman behind her when it comes to business endeavors that she wants to work on. Uh, what I do see with her overall when it comes to love, I feel like she's had one distinctive love in her life that was, really was really deep with her. Um, and that's the love of a person um, that I feel like she still carries no matter what. It's like a sense of a feeling of death when it comes to that person. It's like that person leaving her life. You know what I mean? I don't know if the person actually has passed or if it's like one of those things. It's like now that a person has left her life, it's like she felt like she literally lost a person or lost a person to death. Um, I think the reason why the, the, the connection she had with a person was so deep because it was actually a past life connection and they were only meant to serve this purpose in this life together at that moment 
but of course it was ended abruptly because of you know universal reasons and in her soul and her spirit she doesn't understand why but that's something that she's always carried with her is that 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 uh, relationship that she once had that um, it may not necessarily be a thing for her where she consciously even thinks about it but it is the underlying notion of every relationship that she gets in it's like she's trying to always find the next thing to actually move on or get over the grief of that situation you know what I mean she's also almost created a tapestry or a thought process that she hasn't even realized that she's created for herself through that um, I feel like she definitely wants, like, you know, when it comes to pregnancy and stuff like that, especially that was one of the things she definitely wants to be a mother. And I feel like she wants to have at least two more kids. As you know, she is 37 years old. Um, she is getting up there in age. So kids is something that she wants to have as soon as possible because she wants to spend the rest of her years focusing on business, focusing on cementing a career for herself and her children. Um, when it comes to this man, I think his name is Ed Hartwell. If I'm not wrong, I get the sense when it comes to them is it's almost one of those things where she kind of knew going into it, it may not necessarily be the relationship that she wanted it to be the way that she wanted it to be. I feel like it was one of those things when it was with him, he kind of gave her the image that, you know, he would do whatever it was to please her. Not in a way of like do what she says, but he really went into it asking or, or making her think that he will honor exactly what she wanted. Uh, but when it got to the point where, you know, it's one of those situations when you cross that bridge when you get there, uh, she quickly realized that, you know, it was, he kind of got cold feet on certain things and she had to take matters under her own hands. Uh, when I feel like it comes to the pregnancy, there is some indiscretion there. Um, there definitely is something a little bit off when it comes to that whole pregnancy situation. Um, but at the same time, it's like, I don't feel like it's one of those things that she would really want to style off like this this guy this kid was his and it wasn't his but at the same time realistically she kind of knew walking into it what the relationship was going to end up being so where she is right now is like of course she's hurt that it ended but at the same time it was one of those things in her in her mind and in herself is kind of like you know what I kind of saw this coming and you know when life throws you lemon let's just make lemonade and see what happens from there. Uh, what I do see that this is definitely going to be a battle that's going to be a long winded battle going back and forth when it comes to the whole situation. I get a sense that she's really trying to retreat and recamp to herself and kind of withdraw from this whole situation altogether. But I feel like when it comes to Ed Hartwell, he's going to be the one that's going to really drag the driving force through this whole situation and, and getting it uh getting it resolved a part of part of me feels and it sounds really petty for me to say i feel like also is like a, a publicity grab as well for him um it's like he's almost liking the attention that he's getting from the situation but overall she's at a place where she's just like i just want to retreat to myself i just want to redirect my energy where it's me best i don't want to have to deal with the situation and things like that i guess something about phone calls i don't know if it's like there's going to be like reportable phone calls or whatever but i guess something that like about phone calls um, that is coming up as well. I also do feel like when it comes to them, I, I get a sense that there's going to be a, a, a time where obviously the officials, I feel like there's going to be some legal stuff that may be swirling around this relationship aside from the divorce itself. So it's, it's even though it seems like it's like done or it seems like it's something that is not like, you know, it's definitely about to get even uglier i get the, the point that there's going to be a time where even though they are getting divorced i get that he's going to probably try to come back or you know try to work things out with her and it's like it's almost like they are getting back together again but again it just turns into a tumultuous spiral all over again um i get the sense with keisha that you will see her acting again i also get the sense that i see stage for her um i know she does tv and film but i also see some stage work coming in for her as well um, I also do see with her, um, I see, what's with people in the beauty products and stuff, but I see some kind of line or something that is either she's going to endorse or something that she's going to be actually working on personally herself. But I also get the sense that there's also some humanitarian work that's going to be surrounded around her that's going to be coming up as well for her, where she's going to be working with children or helping out with children. Um, but overall, what I see with her personality, I get the sense that it's like, Sometimes she could be a little bit too tough where she just needs to soften up a little bit and just kind of 
have the chance to really feel what she is going through because I feel like she's definitely a person that she internalizes a lot of her emotions and doesn't allow herself to feel uh, which is not necessarily healthy for her um, overall yeah I just feel like she's a very strong woman she's definitely a person that was very wise from a very young age um, she's a very conscious soul uh, very conscious of her surroundings and very careful around her surroundings and know how to pick up from situations where they go bad and to start over again um, but what I do see with her spouse I do see him trying to come back into the picture to try to make something work out between the both of them um, but again I just don't feel like his intentions are 110 percent pure it's kind of like he's going with the flow of things and how things he is almost like he's making the energy of the situation carry him then actually make decisive decisions in the situation and i'm not necessarily sitting here trying to point fingers and put one above the other and say one's the one better than the other but i'm just feeling like it's kind of like he's a little bit has has hit how can i say this his attitude and his and his body of it being genuine is kind of fading away in this situation. Um, but is at the same time, you know, sometimes people do use publicity to gain um, recognition to start things um, off for themselves, and you know that's the industry that they're in. You know what I mean? It's like you're kind of um, they you make money by relevance, but at the same time, I feel like it's like he doesn't even have a decisive plan when it comes to it. It's kind of like he's just seeing where it takes him. You know what I mean? Um, I do feel like when it comes to Keisha, I don't really feel like she's going to have much commentary um, when it comes to um, the public or the media. Like, if she does, it will definitely be with somebody that's respectable that will, she feels like, you know, it would be a respectable platform in order for her to clear her name. But other than that, I just feel like she's just like, ah, you know what? It is what it is, and I don't want to deal with it, nor do I want it be seen or whatever. Like, I'm done. Who gives a shit? You know what I mean? Um, but that's it. That's what I do see for Keisha Knight, Pulliam, and what's going on around her. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to ask your questions in the comment box. Again, um, if you have any video suggestions or anything that you would like me to discuss, Please let me know and I will try to do them accordingly in a timely fashion um, and dropping that video. Also, I remember, I don't know if you guys seen it, I am doing a Q&A which is Ask Star. We can ask me anything you want if you want to get to know me and how I do what I do and all that crap. So yeah, you can always hit me up on uh, Twitter. Uh, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter, hit me up on Twitter, uh, things like that. So, yeah, I do want to thank you guys so much for your time and rocking for, with me and watching this video. May God bless you and the angels protect you. Don't forget to subscribe. Good night.